Welcome back to the shop. It's out here tinkering around. Got some knives going on the heat treat. Got some stuff hanging out here. Uh, you can tell I might, might have made a purchase. Of course, I got my Warrior. That's a Harbor Freight grill. Uh, it does pretty good for what it is. Uh, I recommend the 24 volt, not the 12, but the 24. Uh, you get a little more battery with that. It's still the lithium ion. Uh, this 12 volt is the lithium ion too, but uh, you don't get as much as long a run time with that as you do the 24 volt. I got a 20 volt heart uh, impact. It's lithium ion. It's a 1.5 ampere. Of course, it does pretty good, you know, for what it is. It's a Walmart tool. Um, of course, I hadn't done a whole lot of research into that. But they say the same place that uh, Milwaukee is made, hard is made. And that eventually the technology from Milwaukee will be in heart. Um, that's just some of the stuff that I've seen from some people on there, I mean, I don't know that to be correct, but, um, of course, I got my impact driver's head. Uh, that's pretty good stuff. Uh, it includes, you know, just a normal um, impact bits. Uh, I use that quite a bit, uh, the adapter for um, 3H drive. And it's got an adapter for quarter drive. Uh, use those quite a bit. Uh, they are pretty helpful. Uh, and it does say impact driving on there. So there, there is a difference. Uh, the bits don't shatter uh, with the impact. Uh, well, this is for knife making, so uh, I kind of want to go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, I'm going to try something a little bit different uh, to help with handles. Of course, you know, I, I've done handles quite a bit, and uh, I'm pretty efficient at it. Uh, but I kind of want to cut down on some of the dust and stuff that's flying around here. I can hook up a shop back to most of every tool I got here and I can kind of take care of all that um, but I kind of wanted something that's going to be just a little bit easier and I think I've come up with a solution uh, so I got this here compact router it's part of the 20 volt system from Hart. And uh, I went ahead and, and picked up a bit set for that, for the compact. And of course, it's it's a quarter inch arbor. Um, and it includes some tools and things that you kind of might need. So I'm going to unbox this thing with everybody, kind of get, kind of get y'all drawled in here. I don't know how well it's, this is going to be, but kind of get everybody in here. Um, I'm not sponsored by Heart, so don't, don't take it to Heart. Of course, Hart has a pretty big line of stuff, you know. Uh, looks like they've got vacuums. Now, my particular Walmart doesn't have vacuum. Uh, they didn't have the blower, and they didn't have the 
um, buffer. And now they do have the saws, the impacts, the drills, the, you know, all that stuff. Um, okay, so there's the box. So I am gonna hold on to the box for a little while just to make sure this thing works. Of course. You know, with any new tool, it's good to keep the box for a little while. Uh, comes with a wrench to tighten the the uh, bits down with. It comes with a, a shop back attachment to fit in here um, that's going to be pretty instrumental uh, of course it gives you, you know, your operating books things you should do and shouldn't do and, uh, yeah see that in here you got over 300 uh, product So there's that. We got it unboxed. Here goes the uh, unveiling of it. So now I'm assuming that I have this 20 volt battery. It should work. It looks like it's going to, but I kind of wanted to look at this thing. over and over and over so you got your on and off a pretty nice fl little flip button right there it feels pretty heavy duty uh, let's see it looks like you have uh, up and down adjustments so that's pretty cool uh, you're supposed to be able to take this thing completely off. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Maybe. don't know well anyway so we're gonna give this thing a try it looks like you can put it on a, it's got a D um, I guess that's to to stop the yeah that's to stop that from turning um, oh okay okay I got you now see so you, you uh, to take that off you had to open it up and then push it down and that whole thing will slide up and down. It gives you your, you take it all the way off, but it also gives you um, a depth sheet or a depth. Um, so that's pretty nice. I have never used a, a uh, actual router per se um, so this is gonna be a new experience for me um, so needless to say um, it's gonna be a little bit different and it gives you um, so in this kit it comes with all the straights and the uh, round over bits, round over edges. Um, right there is kind of like what, what it is. Uh, it's a quarter inch straight, three eighths straight, half straight, a five eighths straight. That's a pretty big coal. 
and then here it gives you, you know, uh, quarter inch, half inch, three eighths, five eighths, five thirty seconds, half, Roman orgy, round over and around over. Um, so I'm not sure, probably just the quarter inch round over. I'm not real sure. I kind of got to get this thing together and play with it a little bit. And uh, kind of figure it out. So I'm using my Gerber Pry Bird to open this thing with. It should be pretty sharp. You get cut pretty easy with this, cutting this plastic open. And it doesn't matter how controlled you are, it's still going to do kind of what it wants to. Anyway, uh, Hart really has started stepping up their game and power tools and stuff like that. They really have. So, there's what those kind of look like. Well, these have, I'm pretty sure, card, uh, carbon, or carbide, not carbon, carbide teeth. Um, of course, and they give you the uh, hex key and the burn. Kind of figured it had been for these flat ones, but it looks like it's going to be for these. Um, so I'm not real sure. It, probably a different size for these. Um, but yeah, that's going to be something a little bit different. Something I've never used before. Hopefully, I'll be able to use this thing to make my handles just a little bit better. Um, now I'm not 100% on this, sold on this yet. So, kind of got to bear with me here. Kind of trying to do everything at one time. Fit in there when I'm the way up. Now we gotta tighten How tight is too tight on these things? Who knows? I just tighten it down just enough. I'm gonna leave that up in there a little bit. Just that way I don't get cut if this thing is on or already on. And uh, there you go. That's pretty much a handheld kind of deal. Uh, we'll cut it on. Man, that thing is turning some RPM. It's got a nice little light in there. Let's see that again. Yeah, so that's going to be pretty nice. And uh, hopefully, I'll figure out a table or something to mount this in. And then that way, whenever I go to adjust this down to where it's... I'm taking handle material off. Um, it's to where it ain't gonna be wobbling and shaking and stuff. It'll be uh, pretty well mounted in somewhere, hopefully. But I don't know. We'll see how this works. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of testing with it on just wood, regular wood, and see. And then the big test to be, I'll fix a knife and uh, we'll see how that works out. 
time. I've seen several guys use these things for this, uh, but I'm not uh, very wood savvy, so that's just one of those things that I'm going to have to get used to. I don't have to, but it would make my job just a little bit easier. Um, I seen this when they had it on a, a pretty good price, and so I said, well, I'll just pick it up and we'll figure it out how it goes from there. And, uh, but we'll uh, catch you guys a little bit later on. And uh, remember, live life outdoors. God bless.